it's Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with a Sunday dinner cook with me. It's been requested a lot for me to do these, so I'm gonna do one today. Today is Sunday, I have everything set out here. We're gonna start getting ready. Um, we're gonna be having some Dutch oven baked chicken. We're gonna have white rice, corn on the cob, and green beans. And in the green beans, I'm gonna put some uncured turkey bacon. So I'm really excited for Sunday dinner. I hope you guys stay and watch this throughout. If you haven't yet, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you're a current subscriber, thank you so much. So we're gonna get started, y'all. We're gonna flip the camera and we're gonna get started. First, we're gonna marinate, marinate. We're gonna marinate the chicken thighs. Okay, y'all, first things first, we're going to, we have chicken thighs. And we're gonna wash these and I'm gonna put them in this container and then we're gonna season them up. Patch of chicken dry, y'all. Patch of chicken dry. Okay, y'all. We have our chicken right here, and we're going to season it. Don't mind over there, y'all. I have my vitamins, my coffee, all that stuff over there. It looks a little cluttered. But um, we're going to work on this chicken. I have all different types of seasoning here. So we're just going to get to it. I'm just going to show you. And I make chicken differently literally every single time. But you want to season this really well. So of course, we're gonna start with some onion powder. And I have, again, there's some big chicken thighs in here. So let me, and this is why you don't do onion salt. You just wanna get the powders. Also make sure you get the meat as well as the skin because we're gonna sear the skin. And, um, and so you wanna season the skin as well to trap in some of that flavor. So just go through season one, each ones. Okay. I'm gonna use this hand to grab some more spices since this one is in the chicken. We're gonna use some cayenne. Um, if you like a little kick, you don't have to do too much of this. You don't want it too hot. Just a little bit, unless you like, you know, unless you like it hot. But I like to do at least a little bit. Cayenne is so good. I love it. Okay, so I added that, the ground mustard. Use, I love ground mustard. Just do a really good with this. You can't use too much ground mustard. Like it's, it's good. Make sure you get the inside of the meat and we're gonna massage this in just a minute. We're gonna massage the whole thing. And then we got garlic powder. Again, use what you have in your cabinet. You don't have to go out and get any special seasoning. Just use what you currently have in your cabinet. It works. Now that I got all the tops open, we're gonna use some Sazon. This is good, really good. Make sure you get it all throughout. Gives it color too, yum. And then poultry seasoning, I took the lid off of that. It's flying everywhere. Just get a good little bit in there. And then we're gonna use some rosemary. Rosemary is always good on chicken, y'all. Rosemary is so good. Fresh, dried, whatever you have on hand. And we're gonna use some adobo. I have a little bit left. Using it really well. Again, we're gonna allow this to sit for a little while. Oh, I didn't know my TV was on. Probably shouldn't have that on. And then I'm gonna complete seasoning. Just pulls it all together. Again, don't ever think you put too much seasoning, y'all. Sometimes it's never enough. By the time it cooks, it just is not enough. Okay, now I want, now pepper. Even though we add some cayenne, you gotta add some more pepper. And I'm honestly not even gonna add salt to this because I believe the adobo and the sazon have it. Sazon, however you wanna say it. I believe those have salt. The other ones do not. The complete has salt too, I think. So I'm not gonna add salt. All right, I'm gonna let this marinate. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I almost just forgot. Yo, you guys know I use this parsley on everything. 
sprinkle this a lot all over your chicken. It gives it just a good look. Okay, y'all, this is what the chicken is looking like. Really nicely seasoned. I'm gonna let this sit and marinate for a while. It's um, 155 right now. Again, this is for Sunday dinner, so I'm starting early. I want this to marinate really nicely and just sit here, take all those flavors in, and then we're gonna sear it in this. So we'll be back. Okay, y'all, we're filling this up for corn on the cob. So I just opened three cans of French style green beans. We're gonna add that in there. We're gonna get these marinating with the uh, turkey bacon. Love French style green beans, they're so okay, good. So my green beans are in here and I'm gonna add the turkey, uncured turkey bacon. And like I told you guys, uncured turkey bacon, it literally looks like ham. It's the texture of ham. Let me show you up close. It literally looks, looks like a piece of ham. But so you can just rip it up, put it in your greens. This is gonna make a world of difference. Also, you can chop up an onion. The kids don't like it when I usually put onions in the greens, so I'm not gonna do that. But yeah, just break it up. And we're gonna have these cooking for a while as well. And we're gonna mix that all in there. We're gonna add some, let me rinse my hands. Okay, and usually y'all, when I'm making greens, I like to add garlic powder, um, garlic powder, onion powder, and black pepper. It already has salt in it, and the turkey bacon has salt in it, so we're just gonna add these flavors. And you don't have to do too much, you just wanna season it. So that was a, a garlic powder and some onion powder. And sometimes add just a little bit of lemon pepper um, and then black pepper. And then we're gonna mix this and get it cooking and we're gonna chop up our, so we're not gonna do a whole corn on the cob, I'm gonna cut, break small ones. So I need to mix this and I'm gonna show you it. Okay y'all, this is what it's looking like and then we're gonna turn it on and just get it slowly cooking so all the flavors can mix. Okay y'all, now I'm gonna shuck these. I got three of them. These are kind of big, but I'm gonna cut them. And it's the tricolor corn. Look how pretty. Love some fresh corn, y'all. Get all these little things. I should have did this in the sink. Look how pretty. I'm just gonna break them in half instead of cutting them even smaller. I'm just gonna just do that. So then we have six of them. Look how juicy that corn is, y'all. There we go. And then just put them in the water. And then in the water, I'm gonna put some butter, um, some Kerrygold butter, and some salt. The corn on the cob added salt and some butter. And then we're gonna boil that in a little while. It's just gonna sit there for a minute. We're gonna get started on searing the chicken thighs. We wanna sear the, uh, the skin of it. And I'm gonna be using avocado oil. I love avocado oil. So that should be good. We're gonna sear it and then we're gonna let it slow cook for several hours. So let me let this heat up a little bit and then we'll get started. The oil heating up. I don't want to burn it, so we're going to start with one of these. So, oh yeah, put the fat side down, the skin side, skin fat side down so we can sear that. Look at that chicken, y'all. That seasoning is everything. You can never do too much. You can do too much salt, but you can't do too much this other seasoning. Yes, yes, look at that. I'm going to keep adding these in. Get a good sear on this thing. Y'all, this is what happens when cooking is your love language. Like, this is what happens. Oh, I'm so excited for dinner tonight. Okay y'all, so the skin is searing, but what I'm about to do is turn it down a little bit and then we're gonna just let it cook in here. 
I'm gonna put the lid on it and we're gonna let it cook in there for a while. I'll turn it down a little bit and let it just go. So it can get real tender and cook for a couple hours. Okay y'all, so I am preheating the oven because I'm gonna put this whole thing in the oven and have it cook for a couple hours. I'm just gonna cook it up here for a little bit and then we'll move it to the oven. Okay y'all, just flip them over so they should look like this. You want a really good sear on the skin. That's just the skin. So now I'm gonna put the lid back on and just have it cooking slowly. Y'all, the beans are cooking, looking nice. Woo! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at those. And now we're gonna put them in the oven in a minute, but them babies is cooking. Honey, we're gonna have some chicken thighs tonight. We also got our corn on the cob cooking. And I'm actually about to start the white rice. It's very simple, go ahead and get it steamed. Y'all need the rice going. Rice is done. And I love this rice cooker. I love the rice cooker. It makes things so simple. Look at this white rice. The kids will be eating this with their dinner tonight. Not me, but it turned out so good. Pulled this out of the oven. Look at what it's looking like. So good. Oh my gosh, I love the crispy crust. Mm, 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 mm. I'm about to check the meat to see if it's done. It's been in the oven for a minute. It's around what, four o'clock right now? Y'all, I'm gonna show you how tender this is. I literally just pulled this. Look at the meat just come off. Do you see the meat just falling off the bone? Oh my goodness. I can't. Bella said he wants some. <laughs> he said, what are you going crazy about in here? Oh yes, ma'am. Look at this. Look at it, oh, so good. Look at this, dip it in some juices down in here. I'm about to try this piece. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, ma'am. It's good and done. I can turn this off. It's 4.09. This is done, perfect. I have that sitting there. The green beans are basically done. Those been done. Oh, those are done. I can turn those off. Corn on the cob is done. Woo. And the rice over here is fluffed and done. Fluffed and done. Okay, y'all, this is it. All plated up. Sunday dinner. We have white rice, um, Dutch oven baked herbed chicken we have corn on the cob and green beans with uncured turkey bacon and it's so good so delicious thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you subscribe and definitely check me out on instagram i have a taste.of.tiffany which you'll see pictures of this on as well as thrifty tiffany so definitely check me out over there i hope you all have a wonderful week next week and yeah bye y'all